All right, so uh, we finished that mission. I think we're just gonna go straight into the next one. Oh, wait, there's a new news tab. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of So. I don't really use any of these units. Um, Yeah, I don't really care about any of these. Oh, this is area damage. Oh, so you can get area effect sword damage. That's cool. Rather than it being single target. It's funny because they show an image of it still shooting a single thing. Which is definitely not its best use. This upgrade would have been helpful in the last mission because you spawn with a bunch of medivacs. I don't think we need any of this though. Hang on to my credits, do it with as few things as possible. Uh, and obviously research, guys. We can try to use the hive mind emulator a little bit more. So I keep forgetting to try that. Uh, Perdition turret, flame turret conceals itself when out of combat. I never use that because I'm an idiot. Uh, Raven, we can try to use a little bit more of both Seeker Missiles, but also just spamming PDDs is very effective because it blocks Broodlord shots, it blocks Hydra shots, it blocks a lot of different attacks. Corruptors and Muters as well. Command Center, Reactor. Yeah, we've been using that. Cool, cool, cool. Is this a custom campaign? I mean, this is all in the main campaign as well. The custom campaign just changes the mission design. The final we section of Wings of Liberty. Zone, to you, you don't remember this? Best part. General Warfield believes an attack on the planet. You know, I've been thinking. I'm scared. All right, all right, all right, guys. We're going into the next mission on chart, and we've got to figure out here: do we want to get rid of Nidus worms or air units for the final mission? Um, I know I'm kind of blocking everything with the overlay. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, here, here. There we go. Big thanks, Printer, for the raid, by the way. I don't think muters and broodlords are a big threat, honestly. Um, I think I'm going to be... Uh, up to this point, I keep picking things to make it harder for myself and more exciting. Um, chat says, you're going to have to fight both in Nightmare regardless. Oh, but it, it, it at least reduces the number, right? Or does it not change the mission at all? Does it have no effect? They only created one version of the final mission. Ah, right. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's pretty hard to balance two different missions. Okay, it makes no difference. All right. So apparently this makes no difference. Um, thank you, chat, for letting me know. Uh, <laughs> it's good to, good to find out, isn't it? Um, okay, so it turns out, I mean, do we want to a small strike force to collapse the Nidus Worm Tunnel? I always thought that was a more boring mission. Whereas this is actually a proper mission, right? This is actually like a... Yeah, I don't really like commando missions as much. Like, they're kind of fun for a change-up. But I would always pick this mission instead. And, I mean, I can always go back and replay the other one, right? I think. So let's do let's do the macro. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface. But there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Reyna. I'm sure the tunnel mission would be Reserve fun on nightmare mode because it'd be difficult enough. But I think doing it on um, brutal was very boring after the first time you do it. You, I remember it being like, eh, not very interesting. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. So I think I. What, what are my objectives? Hack and destroy the coolant towers, right? Yeah. So I've got to like destroy their habitation. I'm to get a positive fix on all the towers. The hotkeys aren't always perfect, by the way, which is why I'm doing that, in case you're wondering. You're like, wait, why are you clicking I'll that? Mark the tower coordinates on your map. Oh, okay, so we've got ground paths to them. Uh, Damn, Jimmy. No hotkey for cloak? Because if I do that, it, it messes up right. stim, I think. Oh, well. I don't plan to use Once banshees much anyway. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. Yes, Commander. Loud and clear. You 
Oi! I wanna mine these minerals, bro. Well. I don't think it really matters. Probably a waste of my time. So we've got a full base there and a full base there. All right. All right. Uh, where do I want this defensive position? I feel like back here would actually be best. So what we want to do is we want to put a bunker down here and a bunker there, and we're going to wedge tanks up there, I think. Or actually... Let's go there. Tanks can be kind of here. Even though the Merc compound is going to be sticking out a little bit. I think it's fine. Alright, so we're going to build two bunkers to start. <clears throat> um, always really nice to get a few bunkers up. Get a little bit of extra gas mining. Just get your, your worker mining up. The double worker production is absolutely god tier for your build up stage. It really gives you a kickstart. A lot of players don't really truly understand the pace and importance of exponential economy in RTS games, which is why everyone underrates the double worker production. But any mission where you don't start out, where you need to, like, where you basically need to build a lot of workers, it gives you such a momentum start that if time is a big factor, it can actually really help out. Don't get me wrong, the gas mining is nice because it saves you money. So in resource limited missions, it's good, but in this one, I think it's quite nice. Oh. Yeah, very, very nice. All right, let's get an armory as well. I just like to have a single upgrade going on each of those structures. Um, so we can blast the enemy down from afar pretty easily. Start getting the tanks and marines that we love so much. I just don't think you can argue Where with tanks and marines as the ultimate kind of defensive Watch composition. Out. Kill them before they can kill you. Or well, flashbacks FCB to the story ready. mission from Terran Starcraft 2, thanks to the memories. Heck yeah. Go ahead. Good stuff, Nuke Mail. If you guys have haven't played Nightmare Mode, I'd really recommend it. I think it is such a fun way of allowing yourself to enjoy the experience of campaign all over again feels completely new it's so challenging and the, the great thing as well is you might be like oh but i'm not a pro pick this is way too hard you don't have to play this on the hardest difficulty you can actually play the nightmare mod on a lower difficulty i told you to run All right, well, we lost a Banshee. I don't care too much about that. Upgrade complete. Lost two weapons is on the way. Got three tanks now. Where does it hurt? Yeah, having a little wedge of bunkers and tanks in the middle that can defend both sides in case I change my mind and go the other direction or whatever can be good. You guys have complained so much about me not using mercs. I'm getting them a bit more. I've always believed, even in the old days, Siege Breakers were the only ones that are super duper worth it. But since I've been a lot more marine focused on this run, I'm actually, um, I'm actually like, okay, war pigs are pretty good as well. I'll, I'll grab them. And I am remembering to do it a little bit more due to everyone's incessant complaints. Um, I feel like 50% of the comments on this kind of series on YouTube has just been people shouting at me. Why do you never build the thing? God damn it, pig. You're so frustrating to watch. Um... I'm already realizing my strategy sucks, guys. This base is barely defended. I should have already rushed down to this base and taken it. Yeah, I think this is sloppy for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still might be able to do it. But I think I'm playing a little overly safe. Um, and I don't think the upgrades should be invested in until after. I don't know how much stuff is down here. All right, lots more tanks, lots more marines. Let's do it. Upgrade complete. Big job, huh? Old re huh? Let's try and build a bunker here. That's gonna. What is it? What's our target? You rang? 
Can you please die? He's already got plus two. You got plus two eight minutes into the game? My guys don't do damage. Frustrating. This better be good. Is it critical? Loud and okay. in the rear with the gear. Uh, these guys aren't gonna last that long, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna build any more workers after that. We'll just leave it at that. Alright, we wanna get more upgrades where possible. What's going on? Armed and ready. This better be good. So don't get me wrong, I could save those minerals in the middle, and that might be something you could focus on. I do feel like it's not that important though, compared to overall efficiency. Let's assume we don't get hit by air units there, guys. Fire suppression systems for the win. Armor upgrade for the marines, let's go. Nice. Put the battle cruiser out front. Put this boy down there. All right. Sweet. All right. Just kill that before it gets any spells. Creep to disappear. Commander, you should stay away from those tunnel entrances. According to the sensors, they're chock full of mutilisks. What tunnel entrances? Is that it? We don't have any bonus objectives, uh, by the way. What's going on? Big job, huh? In the ring. You gonna give me orders? Okay, I'm gonna put um, an engineering bay there just to kind of derp out the enemy units a little bit. Another repairing SCV there as well. What's up? Is that? Oh, that's a tunnel entrance. Ooh, that thing. Can I kill it? I could only kill it by going there. Okay, so you gotta go around. Okay. I remember there was tunnel entrances. That does not look like a tunnel to me, but fair enough. At least it's visually clear what it is. I mean, that it exists. It's visually clear once you recognize, once you're like, okay, that's meant to be that thing. You're like, all right, I can, I can recognize that at least. All right. Building up a big marine army. Doesn't feel like there's too much time pressure. I, I'm assuming it's going to be crazy waves attack me whenever I go Mutal here. Quite a lot of mutilists building up. I think Vikings are going to be necessary just to deal with Broodlords. So we're going to go for some of those. Uh, we will build, I guess, one, two more depots just to make sure. So we just immediately supply drop on those. Yeah, this is... Doing pretty good, guys. I, I kind of feel like this is not too bad. I wonder how close I need to go to activate that. Let's save. All right, guys. Let's let's learn how this mechanic works real quickly. And then new ones pop out, is it? Oh yeah. I'm on it. Ten four. 
Okay, yeah, 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 new ones. Pop. Okay, so it's, it's just a mutalisk spawner. Okay. I thought there might be more to it than that. No, no, it's a very basic mechanic. That's good to know. <laughs> That's good to know. Alright, guys. Nice little sneaky attack there. Mineral field depleted. Uh, let's try and get some. I mean, we know we're gonna get hit down here at some point, right? So, absolutely know we need to be ready for that with turrets on both sides. Um, cooler. I do like that we're getting a few Vikings up. I feel like even just four Vikings helps us a lot. Even though I don't tend to get attack upgrades on them, and I know that does hurt me. These guys can go down there. Um. Just need to deal with the Broodlords with that. Cool. Obviously, he'll have mined out these minerals now for the most part. Oh, no. Oh, they don't rebuild the drones. Oh, they don't rebuild the drones, guys. Oh. So if you kill those three drones, those minerals survive forever. Oh, simple pig, simple pig. If I realized that earlier, I would have killed the third one. I figured they'd rebuild those. Because usually in this campaign, they rebuild things. But uh, in this one, apparently not. 400, 200 goddamn complete. siege breakers are expensive, but I think they're worth it. Get the armor upgrade, upgrade first. Complete. Before we do that, we can do it. Um, what was I waiting on, guys? Siege breakers, right? Let's do it. These guys down there. Guess we should grab war pigs as well while we're at it. Uh, we're actually getting some sick upgrades this game. Feels great. I, I really wonder how they're going to just make me pay. Because, you know, I mean, it's nightmare mode. I'm, I'm so traumatized from this mode. Like, I know it's only a matter of time until something utterly ridiculous happens, right? Should I, should I be going Ravens? Maybe I, I, I feel like this mission is slow enough. It's one of the few missions I could actually start building Ravens. If I could get a bunch of Ravens and spam some PDDs, that'd be awesome. I don't have any medevacs, you'll notice, but that's just because I got medics, and I figure they do a good enough job. Thank you, my coach, for the 12-month resub. Appreciate the love. Get plus three armor for the bio. Get these guys down there mining those minerals yeah. oh they have minerals in these bases as well so if you kill those bases early you can free up more resources oh that's an attack coming is it maybe i'm not sure we're just kind of scanning the map right now getting a feel for everything scan map axe for the win all right let's do it oh yeah they spawn with full energy as well this is actually sick guys I think the battle cruiser is going to stay at home defending for the most part. Oh, maybe I can use it down here. You stay then we're just going to go. Of yeah, I don't even care about going near this stupid mutalisk spawner. I've got PDDs up. I'm going to sit next to it just because just I'm a cocky piece of crap. Now, I don't know how the hacking works here, guys. This is going to be interesting. So, let's just put a guy on it. Hopefully, I don't need to defend said guy. If I do, he's going to, of course, die straight away. You literally just kill it? The reactor's melting down. Move out. And it just explodes. Get out of there, sir. Okay. Evacuate the platform. Move it. Under He's lost for ages, right? Yeah, three minutes. That's so sick. Oh, PDD's an Imba, guys. This is gonna be great. It's getting ready to blow. There she goes. Get clear. All right. All right. Oh, you get minerals for it as well? Oh. Okay, but you only get 100. Okay, so technically I could leave the platform up, mine the minerals, and then destroy it if I want to do it that way. Is this mission easy, guys, or am I being trolled? 
I mean, I know I've been traumatized by very hard missions. On that, platform. that felt easy, though. Oh, ooh, ooh. Omegalisk? Ultralisk. It's just an Ultralisk. We'll be right, we'll be right. Just got no this here. Oh, and they were just attacking an engineering bay. Holy crap, that setup is amazing, guys. <laughs> this setup is amazing. This is so sick. All right. A lot of ground defenses on that platform, sir. Upgrade complete. A lot of ground defenses? Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Dude, I have unlimited money in this mode. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. This is actually like just like a rare holiday from the oppressive. It's just trolling me. It's just trolling me. There is no. Ho it's a holiday for the first half of this mission. Then they're gonna troll me. I'm gonna go over here. 400 brutalists are gonna attack. Brace yourself, pig. This is still not that many siege tanks, by the way. We want more siege breakers. Hurry up. Let me make more siege breakers, please. Um, we're kind of defending this path now, right? With where I'm going. Attacks could hit down here, so I think leaving the BC there is probably a good idea, yeah. Oh, it can shoot while it's also casting its spell, guys. Yeah, I think I need I need to leave a few tanks there just in case. We'll put an engineering bay in front as well, maybe. Or I could do it over there, actually. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, check this out. So what we'll do is we'll move down here and we'll set up a nice little defensive position, eh? Yeah, yeah, sell these bunkers. Okay, yeah, yeah this, is, this is a good idea. Because then we can just set up in this middle area and defend everything, right? These guys are gonna... Shit, PDDs, PDDs. PDDs give you insane value, guys. It's actually like super broken. Upgrade complete. Yo. Me. Give us your Bad news. Okay, and then the battle cruiser can just sit in front. And I'm gonna leave four tanks there. And these guys. Okay, cool. And then everything else can just go this way. Yeah, yeah. And then. These guys can all join the front. Those can come join the front. Oh. Oh, more siege breakers as well? No. There we go, more siege breakers. Alright, let's do it. Oh, this is so juicy. This army is ridiculous, guys. Okay, three turrets wasn't enough for that. That's fine. Oh, these auto turrets last for ages, so they can kill all that. It's awesome. Oh, this is so brutal, man. I love it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm getting a little bit wasteful. I gotta be a bit more um, savey savey on the resources. Ready to blunder. Your forces are under attack. Okay. I think this is enough tanks to just kill with, right? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, it's so sick. Oh my god. And what's down here? I guess there's another path up to this middle base there, which also has a ton of money. Weren't there some air attacks from the northeast up here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the nor northeast up here. That's the edge of the map. You mean northwest, right? I want to bring USCVs with the army. And yeah, hopefully that they don't come from the left. If they do, that's going to be kind of a bummer. I'll just put a banshee over there. Mineral field depleted. By the number. What's our target? Mineral field depleted. Oh, the broodlings do still come out? I thought that, I didn't think the broodlings came out. That's my bad. My marines should have been shielding for that. Oh, yeah, I really thought broodling, bro broodlings got stopped by this. Did they change this in the campaign? They might have. I thought Broodling attacks were completely blocked. Slandered nightmare mode that got angry, guys. Oh, that guy got a hit off. Nice. Yeah, we've got all the upgrades. Yes, we do. Cool, cool, cool. Mine the gas out. What's you can mine the gas out there. That one's mine now. You can go there. The numbers, and also, just bring a few of these SCVs up. Base is under Trying to move these guys through. Trying to get up these ramps is quite tough. I gotta, I gotta get a move on. I'm taking way too long to get up this ramp, guys. I see what's up. I see what's up. There's a friggin' lurker shooting me. Oh god. Oh god. That ain't good. Tunnel entrance right there. That's okay. The Marines will kill them as they fall. Get it. Stay. 
Marine went up and touched it. Ooh, extra ship weapon upgrades would be good. You better move out fast. Cover the retreat with some auto turrets. Where do we need to get to? It's just up there that dies, right? I think it's just up there. It, it wouldn't kill like the previous areas I'm on, right? Let's find out. Look at that thing. No! No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot this happens. Oh, no. This is going to be like the mothership mission, isn't it? This is going to be like the mothership mission. Oh, God, where is it? Okay, 12,000 life. Four, 12 range, 44 damage attacks. Six, 15 range, 22 damage anti-air attacks. It's five armor. And it's just going to spawn units at me. Okay, it's just like the mothership mission. First half is super chill, and now it's just going to absolutely dick me. Oh, okay. Okay, first of all, you guys go there. Okay, get, get these extra ship weapon upgrades. Let's go. Thankfully, it's just Mutalisks who's sending at me for now. And these are hopefully projectile attacks, so maybe PDD can block them as well. I really feel this Raven investment has been massive. With all the energy upgrades I got, I feel like they're helping actually so much. It's actually awesome. Um, I'm going to build a few medevacs, guys. Alright, we're gonna get the, um, Hell's Angels. Come on, we need plus three ship weapons. Alright, so he's just gonna spam flyers at me, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, I guess we just wanna bring workers down here. Okay, I, I almost want to get a few more ravens here. Um, okay, as long as it hangs back for now, I can still go eliminate this bottom right side. I just want to chill until I get this. Um, let's get a few turrets here in case this does get attacked. Obviously, you don't want to spend too many minerals on turrets because there's only so much minerals left, but first time running the mission, I figure it's not too bad an idea. Plus three ship weapons is on the way now. I think I'm, I will build a few more ravens. I just feel like their ability to get value over time is basically second to none. Um, we've got a base there. We've got another base up front we can take as well later, which is good. Um, nothing out here, is there? Not really. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, let's build some bunkers there, shall we? Cool. Pumping out these ravens, guys. Fire suppression system's doing pretty well. Any more Merc charges? No, we used them. We could get Jackson's Revenge for tanking, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to put these guys there. And we're going to push down this right side. I think that bunker's blocking me. I don't think there's any more ground attacks coming. Seems like it's just air, which is pretty good. I'll put a tank there anyway, on that side. A lot of ravens. Their energy regen is just off the chain, guys. 
Actually, no, I didn't get any energy regen buff for them, did I? I think it's just they start with full energy. I think it's the ghosts that drain energy when they attack enemy units. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, there's an air attack from these guys as well. Nice. Plus three ship weapons is almost done. I'll take these guys. Let's try and absorb some damage with some turrets. Make sure we keep focus firing. Flank against this while I push in, I swear. <laughs> Those turrets are actually really annoying at how to block. Should I be building bunkers behind me as I go? I swear. Oof. Come on. Oh shit, it's here! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out, get out, I do not want to find it. Did it teleport here or did it slowly arrive? Jesus. Jeez, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, run away, run away, run away. Uh, okay, okay. It's gonna do the thing where it just runs in and then runs away like the other guys, isn't it? Far out. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. This is not gonna be a mission I get first time, that's, that's for certain. That almost never happens in nightmare mode. Don't lose your ravens! Oh god, what just fungled me? Oh, an infested just got me! Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Oh, my marines are trapped. That's why they ain't doing anything. Base is under attack. State your request. Ready for service. Alright. Um, we've got a lot of money, but yeah. Thors? Can't hold them alone. Do I mix in some Thors for tanking? Some Goliaths? Transformation systems brought. Fire suppression systems doing a good job. Base is under attack. Yeah, it definitely feels like I have too many tanks for this base. There really wasn't that much to kill on the ground. So I definitely don't want to be rebuilding my tanks. And this is like an air mission through and through from what I can tell. I think I will make another starport so I can make more units. Transformation systems prime. I think we can also grab these guys, put them down here. 
It's not that I need that base up, but where else am I going to defend, right? So then I'll go towards my main. Okay, so we're going to go over here, put some of these down. Okay. Cool. What's going on? I wedge up. I think I got to move up my defenses to that position. That's for sure. I should have done that before attacking in. That's obvious now in hindsight. That's real obvious in hindsight, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, at least he's distracted there. Your forces are under attack. Base is under attack. By the number. So they should all be in one position. In the rear with the gear. Should be going on bunkers there. Your forces are under attack. Ready. Go ahead. Ah. Been waiting. Give up. By the number. Create some little avenues through the tanks as well. Your forces are under attack. Let's try and go down this way. These guys can go like that. You guys can go like that. Your forces are under attack. Is under attack. Base is under attack. Your forces are under SCVs attack. are under attack. Stay your base is under attack. Go ahead. Base is under attack. Transformation systems private. Okay, Leviathan's bottom right. If it's down there, I should be pushing to the other side. Those angels, let's go. Base is under attack. Okay, so as long as he's coming from down that angle, we can push left. And then if the Leviathan rotates left, we rotate right. Obviously, I'd like to kill the Leviathan, but I want to kill one of the bases first, then kill the Leviathan. I don't, I don't want to fight it while I'm fighting a base. Essentially, this is stressful as man. Even though I've got a base mining here, I'm like, I only have so much money. Yes, you get insane efficiency out of Ravens, but thankfully these auto, these uh, PDDs regen energy, and they last three minutes. So like right now, I've got like nine PDDs on this base. Each one uses like 10 energy to block a projectile, so works pretty well. All right, three Hells Angels, let's go. Is 15 Ravens enough? I think it's plenty. A few more Vikings I think will be good because we've just got so much. Actually, Marines I think would be best because I'm very light on the Marine count. Okay. All right, let's try and move left. What do we got defense-wise? A uh, mixture of 
Base. Defilers? They have defilers? Okay, they have defilers, ultras. <sighs> okay, so with the defilers, I just gotta pull back from the orange cloud, I guess. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I might need to bring some Vikings over that side. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a bunch of Vikings there, and then the rest will come with my army. Yeah. We'll put a few more PDDs down, try and take some nice efficient trades there. Leave these tanks out of my control group, I think. Bring these ones left. Base is under attack. Armed and ready. This better be This better be been waiting. You gonna give me orders? Cool. Keep putting these forward. Is under attack. Auto turrets are super tanky. 150 plus one armor. What's going on? That base will mine out pretty soon. Big job. Go ahead. What's going on? Whoa! What's that? What's that? What'd you do? They can play. Okay, they've got plague. They have plague. Piece of poo head. Poo head. Who had campaign? I was like, what is that graphic? It's not big and red like the Brood War one. I know what the Brood War one is. At least I didn't lose them. They're going to repair up. But that, that could have been so bad if anything else came in and shot them. Oof. Artosis just got roused from his speed, his, his, his piece. Starcraft told me to go fuck myself. It's like, oh, you were gonna have fun today? You gonna try hard today? Oh, fuck you. All right, those are running out. We gotta go. We gotta get a move on. PDDs are out on that side. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, the tanks blocked me. Shit. No, 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 it's here! Where, where'd you come from? Shit, did it just fly over? Get out! Run! Run! It can disable? Fudge off! Oh my god. Oh. You're such a scumbag. Oh, I hate you so much, you piece of shit. Can I kill it? Maybe I can kill it. Let's let's just fight it. Even though I'm not ready for it, I have way too many guys that aren't designed to be fighting it at all. Spread out, because I know he's going to have splash damage and big disables and stuff. Does he have an ability to block uh, missiles, I wonder? I can kill it. That'll be great. It's taking a lot of damage. Good to kill the muters. Good to kill the muters. Wait, can these guys not attack? What is this biostasis bullshit? Okay, so it has an AoE biostasis ability that could best be described as utter bullshit. Okay, it's 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 a big fungal AoE type thing. It's 
really hard to tell what it's doing. I mean, we got it pretty heavily damaged. For me, not even planning to take that fight and just panic taking it, that actually was pretty close to killing it. We got it down to one third life. Um, I think having a bunch of... The, the problem is you need to keep targeting the things that keep spawning. Otherwise, you guys are just attacking it. It's got five armor, right? I think the Vikings can keep attacking it, but I need the Marines and everything else to attack the other stuff. And the problem is I've got too much supply and tanks. So my army's actually not big enough to uh, to do so. Yeah, man. I swear, where does he come from? Because I'm so tunnel vision on microing my units, I never see the Leviathan appear. And it just comes out of the friggin' edge of nowhere. If I was a bit more patient, I think I could have won this first go. If I, um... This is, this is actually, yeah, pretty good. The Ravens are insanely good on this mission. Insanely powerful. These Vikings are pretty sick as well. All right, let's just keep an eye on the Leviathan. Keep doing the rotating tax tactics where possible. But if it does come out into the open, I just got to pull back. It's just, I got to keep it. I still don't know how biostasis works because stasis, like, I don't know. Is there a projectile? Can I dodge it? It seems like it's instant cast. And it's about eight range would be my guess. And it's about a fungal AoE. I don't know though. There's no way to know except by playing more and getting hit by it more and baiting it into using the spell. I think just spreading everything out is going to be the way to do this. GG's. Ah, the Leviathan seems to patrol between the two bases. It clearly reacts when I, um, when I attack one. It clearly reacts. Yeah. As soon as you start pushing, he does float over. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right, guys. I imagine that's the way to, that, the way I was thinking that must be it. Yeah, maybe when I start touching creep or something, I gotta pay attention to that for the next one. Oof, this is fun though. Maybe you could bait the stasis. Yeah, well that's what I was thinking, but as long as as long as all my stuff's reasonably spread out, but because my ravens run forward to cast their spells, they sometimes are getting hit by it, which isn't great, but it's not as bad as my Vikings getting hit by it, which is much worse. It's much, much worse. I wonder if Grant ever tried Mass Snipe. I'm sure it wouldn't work. Snipe is a good ability. Snipe's really good, actually. Snipe does, um, is it 50 damage or 25 damage? I'm trying to remember, guys. I think it's 25 energy and it does 50 damage, I believe. Let's uh, take a look. We've got the Shadow Ops, the Shadow Ops structure. Oh, he doesn't have plus three attack. That's nice. Yeah, I think it's 50 damage. Um, The mothership had a bunch of abilities on it you could hover over that told you like, oh, it reduced incoming damage to 10 and stuff like that. This one doesn't show any abilities like that. So I don't think... I don't think it has anything like that. So definitely, so Snipe probably does the full damage. So that's 12,000 divided by 50 guys. Is under attack. So 1,000 would be what, 20 Snipes? So we just need 20 times 12. That's easy. 240 Ace Snipes. Is under attack. Full energy ghost has eight snipes. We need 30 full energy ghosts to kill it. So yeah, it might actually take a lot of damage from Yamato and snipe and anti-armor missile, whereas uh, other ones don't. I think the Vikings were doing pretty good. I think I just need more auto turrets, uh, more marines, etc. And if I can bait it into fighting static defense, that will be the, the goal. So what I'm going to do is when I start pushing there, I'm actually going to start building static and we're going to bait. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to push forward here. Attack. We're going to build a bunch of bunkers and turrets supporting like we did against the mothership. And we're going to try and bait it into fighting us near these bunkers. So we're going to kind of bunker turret crawl. Probably this ledge because this one's a bit too cramped. I think that's a bit too Base. cramped. Whereas here we have a bit of a attack. wide open area. Mix some bunkers turrets and you want to pull into a big arc. So you've got a big firing concave Base. and He's minimal clumping attack. up for splash damage. And that's going to be the sort of goal is uh, basically do what I did, but just actually bait them into into coming into the big surround. I think the Ravens are so insane because they're blocking so many Mutalisk attacks. Um, they're not blocking Broodlord attacks, but they are wrecking the Mutalisks. They're not Ace blocking the tentacles. I also don't think they were blocking the Bile Swarm anti-air attacks, but I'd have to I'd have to go double check. Leviathan's such a cool unit, by the way. I love it. 
All right, guys, let's take a quick break and uh, we'll load up a game and, and go back and have another go. <laughs> we'll be right back. Wraiths take 20% less damage than Vikings with a displacement field upgrade. Yeah, they just don't have the range. Um, they have to get too close, I find. Because I tried using them a lot in the um, Odin mission, I think, and one or two other missions, and they were just kind of dodge. They were they were okay, but uh, yeah, they weren't that great. Someone was saying Widow Mines earlier. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have Widow Mines Liberators. Those are not Wings of Liberty units, but yeah. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice some of my um, my tanks. Big, by the way, Nightmare Mode for Legacy is out. Did you know that? Oh, that's cool. When did that come out? I, I knew Heart of the Swarm was out. I knew Legacy was coming soonish. All right, guys. Let's uh, just load up the last mission. And we're going to try and build some turrets and stuff. And uh, just actually check the minimap. Because that's the real threat, honestly. The other units are not that scary, but... Keep an eye on this big boy. You know what, guys? I, I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kill my own tank. Stop the burning, guys. Alright. And we just need more Vikings. Yeah. I mean, I do feel the marines were somewhat useful. So I will build some more marines as well. But, uh... Corruption, I think, uses the same graphic as the uh, fire ability. Base is under attack. Damn, not quite enough in range. All right, let's get it. Job. We did get plus three, right? Base yeah, yeah. Is under attack. Keeping an eye on it this time. Base is under attack. Ready to blunder. Well, butter my biscuit. Base is under attack. Oh, he's blocked himself with his eggs. Still not pushing in. Base is I'm gonna under build attack. so many of these turrets, guys. Turrets. Yep. Bunkers. Yeah. How many Let's Vikings we got? Still not enough, man. Even with all that, that's only 26. Base is under we can attack. do better than that. Alright. We just triggered him. We just triggered him. Okay. Base is under attack. Fight or flight. Let's get. No, no, he's going back. He's going back. Never mind. Fight or flight. 
transfer. Let's get into the fight. <sighs> Thought we triggered him. We did not. Alright. In the rear with the gear. Vespine Geyser exhausted. How do we trigger him? Base is under attack. These guys do so little damage. This is the old auto turret, guys. He's coming for me. Yeah, as long as I stay down here, he's gonna keep coming. Sweet. Base is under attack. Okay. Base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. Alright, he's gonna start sieging me, like the cheeky dickhead that he is. Let's get into the fight. Okay, pull back, pull back. He already just used biostasis. Good. Bait him in. He's got 15 range. It's kind of a problem. It's hard to bait him in when he's got 15 range. Do we... Do I pull the trigger? I think I might have to, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. Notice I keep trying to pull them back and then re-attacking with them, and that way they're going to keep killing the other units that are coming in, not just these ones. Find the minerals, find the minerals. This other attack coming in is a really big problem for me, guys. It's a very big problem, but I think with the marines backing us up, auto turrets on the ground, we've still got about 12 vikings up, including some hell's angels. Come on, auto turrets. Auto turrets. Auto turrets! 700 hit points, we got it! Pull back, pull back, pull back, you guys. We got it! Yes! 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 Okay. Let's not lose too many more guys now as the stragglers come in. That should be it. Mission should be easy now, right? Famous last words. Uh, okay, marines are actually the most important thing for me to build right now, since I don't really have anything going for me. The ravens are still up, which is obviously huge. I mean, that is the biggest thing. Uh, I'm gonna rebuild a couple of SCVs, not too many, just like four or five, get back up to like 16 workers. And we did it. Save? Yeah, good idea. It respawns in five minutes, doesn't it? If it respawns in five minutes, like, I, I, you just spoiled me and that sucks, but I don't care because it's not real. If it actually did that, that would be so stupid. If it actually res- that would be like, I would actually be like, Grant, you're an evil person, and I would actually try to find his address. I'd be like, oh, I have a gift for you, and then I'd give it to the FBI because I'd like, go check this guy's basement for bodies. Like, there's no way- you haven't killed people like you're a danger to society if you if, if you if you make the leviathan respawn like if the mothership respawned in that mission i actually i would have i would have been like grant you're actually a crazy person you're a danger to society and you definitely i mean i'm just saying if, if you look in his pantry 
fava beans. A nice, what is it, Chianti? Uh, you know, a bit, bit of red wine and, and a few people's faces that he's fuck, friggin' wearing on the weekend, you know? Absolutely sickening. Cool, we're repaired up now. Um, so we've got a few thousand resources to remax. I've still got the Ravens, which are gonna give me great renewable um, stuff. I'm gonna rebuild my tanks now. They did a good job of tanking and not doing much else. Fire suppression systems for the win. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we've got, I don't know, a few thousand minerals. Uh, we can't max out, but I don't think we need to. We'll basically just get up to, we got six, we're building two more tanks. We've already used all of our mercs. So I think we'll go up to maybe 10, 12 siege tanks. Um, big pack of marines. We've got only one medevac right now, which is not the best, but that's okay. So I'll build one more. Yeah, we'll build one more medevac. And just lots of marines should be good. Seems only fair to swat him. I wouldn't be swatting him. Guys, I'm not swatting him. I'd literally be like, this guy is a serial killer. I'm pretty sure. Go check out his head. The difference between that, that's not swatting. That's friggin' tipping off people about an, intimi an imminent threat to society. That's doing your civic duty. Come on, mates. Crazy Twitch chat. Rhyme's evil, not that evil. Yeah, Rhyme and Grant are uh, the legends that have, of course, the minds behind this lovely, uh, lovely map. Try and use the full energy ravens to put down some auto turrets, let them rejoin the rest. While I'm building up. Yeah, gonna come in from that side, no worries. Last two tanks, guys. Get ripped, son. Siege breaker, one shots and infester. Beautiful. Um, I think nine Vikings will be enough. Uh, so I think we should be good in that regard. Let's queue up these extra Marines. And obviously, you want to save uh, repair money as well, of course. We've got 500. 900, 1100, 1500. About uh, 1700 more minerals coming in, so I'll spend a fair bit of that on marines and then we'll start pushing. Second Leviathan will be showing up soon. You guys are such idiots. I swear, if there's actually a second Leviathan, I will be so mad. I would be so mad, man. Don't you know they're a breeding pair, pig? There's not just one. How do you think it makes the Zerg? They have to breed, man. It comes at 115. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need more tanks. I think that's enough tanks, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, whichever side attacks me next, I'm gonna counterattack uh, in the opposite direction because I figure it'll be a long time because I wanna pull every tank. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to build two more tanks. I can't resist. I need to. Yeah, I'm just going to go overboard on the tanks. Nine Vikings should do me. Uh, do we build one more Viking, two more Vikings? No, I no, save it for the repair. Okay, no more Marines. I need, I need these minerals at this point for repair. Who's going to attack me? Come on, guys. Make a decision. Make a decision, bro. PDDs are actually so good, though, man. State your request. Transformation systems. been waiting on you. All right, I'll build two more Vikings. By the numbers, boy. Are these mixed hotkeys of standard and core? It's my campaign core setup. Some things are just missing hotkeys. So you guys will notice, like when I go to build an add-on, it's Z for tech reactor. So I just click that. Banshee doesn't have a cloak button, so I manually, I manually do that, that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it's mostly the core that I'm using. 
because I figured I would need to play at such a high level for this campaign that I would need to kind of be super organized. All right, I'm, I'm going to be impatient and we're just going to push. I, I just cannot be bothered waiting, so that's fine. Uh, if I get punished, I can always load this save. All right, we're going to try and push the left side, guys. All right, do we have any spellcasters to worry about? Yeah, a bunch of infestors over here. That's cool. I already used all my scan energy like a dummy. Save money for repair, you actually need to remember to repair to make that worthwhile. Oh, let's see what's going on. Oh, the fire just went down before it could get spells off. Awesome. We're doing pretty good. This is looking pretty clean, pretty cost efficient. Oh, plague, plague landed on some of my guys apparently. We get further forward. Go down the ramp. Yeah, it's right there. We got further down this ramp in order to kill it, eh? How do I kill that? I think I'm gonna try and move my whole army down here. As crazy as this seems. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Try to move these guys, these guys down. Okay. There's bloody defiler over there. Oh, we had, uh... You better move out fast. Your forces are under attack. It's getting ready to blow! Here you go. are under attack. Run! Yeah, so... Second. There it goes. Good job on taking out those towers. You gonna give me orders? Space is under attack. Exhausted. Alright, we build a few more ravens, guys. Probably not that many, though. How many tanks we still got? Ten? I build two more tanks. And that should be yeah, a few more marines as well. Alright, we're just going to take a minute to heal up. Let everything get healed up. And uh, go from there. 
So we're gonna have about, what, 600, 700 more minerals for repair? This should be plenty. Go, go, go! We'll get a couple more marines, why not? A couple more marines just to mix in. Good generic damage, the marine man. We got it, guys. Run, boy, run! We So much more gas than you need in this mission. I think it's very good that I use the ravens. Okay. I'll try and save that scan energy until there's actual fighting happening and stuff. Um, Lord, which is nice. These order turrets actually block me a bit. Oh, you can move on that circle? I thought that was impossible terrain, guys. I literally thought I couldn't move on that circle. I'm so dumb. There's just a little glass panel to see the reactor underneath or whatever. Damn. You gonna give me orders? Your forces are under attack. Just there. If we just go left, we can get to it pretty easily. I kill the greatest fire. Do they stop making broodlords? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Tested engineering thing, eh? Interesting. Okay, go, go this way. Okay, you guys touch that point and then get back. Alright, we can hit it from the high ground, that's all we need. Water turrets to cover. We got this one in the bag. Ravens. I'm so happy we finally got to use the Raven, man. I was I was really thinking I'd just be using Marine Tank for the whole campaign. It was bumming me out. It's getting ready to blow. That's what he said. I'm an adult. Noise. What are the best joke lines from StarCraft 2? Prince F just said both of them. Um, well, I do like in the rear with the gear, but also, what, did you run out of Marines? This is your plan? When you tell SCVs to attack, yeah. Yeah, the SCV lines when you tell them to attack are pretty great. Um, I actually don't know all of them. I forget all of them. But there's a, there's a lot of good ones. They have a lot of, like, if you just keep clicking on a unit, it's kind of crazy how many there are. Feeling really good about that, though, guys. That was awesome. And um, that means we are getting towards the very end of the Nightmare campaign. 
And I am destroying it. I'm so good at StarCraft. I feel very, very accomplished. This, this is actually amazing. So I think there might only be one mission left. Kinaz. GG. Yes, there's one mission left, Big, but it's going to take as long as four other missions. <laughs> I'm prepared, guys. I'm prepared. So it's even harder than the Protoss holdout mission, you guys think? Way harder. I thought that one was the hardest mission in... Um Brutal campaign. That's why I thought it would be the hardest, the Protoss one. But I guess the final mission has always been very challenging. See you on your feet, General. Final mission's pretty easy in vanilla. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. You can cheese it, but if you don't if you don't cheese it and you if you play it you without the impressive. upgrades, it's quite hard. God, it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Bedding our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fury, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. just worth fighting for. It seems my faith in your abilities has been vindicated, Commander Raynor. Now the fight Why did they put Arthas in this campaign, guys? I really feel like this is just the lamest the character. Bring this bloodshed. He's like, I'm Arthas. Oh, I'm like, what? <sighs> There's always some, like, weird fucking giant-shouldered, blonde fucking long-haired emo. Oh, my dad's big meanie. Oh, I want to be special. Anduin Rin from WoW? Who the fuck is that guy? 